welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our Hearts and Stars Skinny Tag Die. This die is great for adding accents to your cards and creating cute little tags. And we're also going to be introducing our brand new double-sided adhesive sheets. I love these sheets for adhering down intricate die cuts and we're going to show you how all of these products work today. First, we're going to take a look at our Hearts and Stars Skinny Tag die set. And this die set has hearts and stars in three different sizes. And these are perfect for adding accents to your card. So you know when you want to sprinkle on maybe like a little sequin or a tiny heart or just something extra on your card? These hearts and stars are the perfect sizes for that. We've also included this cute little tag in the set. I love that it's got a little rickrack edge and some stitching. It also comes with two little reinforcers, a thicker style and a thinner style. This tag is a nice long size, so it's gonna fit a lot of sentiments from a lot of different stamp sets. You can also layer the hearts on top of it. So you could layer the die on top of it and cut the hearts from it or cut the hearts in cute colors and layer that on top. So there's a lot of fun ways to use that tag. And of course, those hearts and stars are perfect for adding accents. Now one of my other favorite ways to use this tag is to trim off the part that has the hole for the tag and now this is a perfect sentiment strip for your cards. You can see you can kind of layer it right in the upper corner, stamp a little thank you on there and it's adorable because it's a banner but it's got a little extra rickrack edge and some stitching. Now here you can see how it looks to die cut a bunch of these hearts and stars. And what I like to do is die cut them from a bunch of different colors and keep them in a little bowl on my desk. And Shari loves doing this too. So once you cut some out, save them in a bowl on your desk and they're going to be ready for your next card when you just need that extra little accent on there. Next up, we're going to take a look at the double-sided adhesive sheets, and I love these sheets so much. So in a pack, you get three 6-inch by 8-inch sheets, and this is essentially, imagine our double-sided tape, but in this really cool sheet form. And the reason I love this is for adhering more intricate die cuts. You know how the ones that are just hard to get the glue on properly? This stuff is the best for that. So I'm just going to trim down a piece of pattern paper here, and I'm going to trim down my double-sided adhesive sheet. And you can trim it really easily in your paper trim or with scissors and then all you need to do is peel off one of the layers so on either side there's a thin paper liner so we're going to peel off one of the sides and then we're going to adhere that to the back of this pattern paper and that's going to essentially create a pattern paper sticker that we can die cut Next up, I'm taking out this line border die. All of these line border word dies are always really hard to adhere to me because they're just so skinny and tiny. So I'm gonna die cut this out of the pattern paper and I'm just gonna hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine. And just one pass through the die cut machine, it's going to cut and then I can peel it out of the die and I've got sticky on the back and of course my cute pattern paper on the front. So all I need to do is peel the back of the liner paper just like a sticker and then we can adhere it to a piece of cardstock. So what I love about this is that it adheres clean. There's no fuzzies or like stickies or anything sticking out. You know how sometimes they'll be like little, almost like little shreds of glue or anything? This doesn't have it at all. I absolutely love it. And it's super, super secure. So once you put it down, it's not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna put that right down on this piece of cardstock. And then you'll see I have some parts sticking out over the edge and I can easily trim those off with my scissors. And I am just in love with this adhesive. The other way I like using these adhesive sheets are for tiny dies. So I'm actually going to take out some of the dies from the Hearts and Stars skinny tag and run that through the die cut machine as well. And now it's going to create these tiny little heart and star stickers, which makes them even easier to add to your card. So I just kind of poke them out with my little pokey tool there, my little tweezers. I can peel the liner paper off the back and quickly and easily adhere tiny teeny little die cuts. So I just, ugh. I'm really in love with this stuff. So I kind of went through and took out a bunch of my dies just to see like what would work well with these. And so all these little tiny pieces we have on our tiny gift box characters, like the little noses and like the little parts that go on the back of the eyes would be really, really great using the double-sided adhesive. I also love using these for the tiny pieces that we have to decorate all of our build a house or build a castle pieces, like the little tiny Christmas lights or the cobwebs. Really delicate snowflakes are really perfect for this double-sided adhesive because it's going to adhere really nice and clean down onto your project. And butterflies are kind of in that same category too, or the tiny little things to decorate the mushroom house. 
I went ahead and picked out some intricate and tiny dies and we're gonna run those things through the die cut machine. And I was kind of laughing as I did this because I think I got every season in here. We've got butterflies, summer, cobwebs, snowflakes, <laughs> all of the things. So I went ahead and run those through and you can see just how easy it is. We're just gonna peel that liner paper off and now I can attach this little butterfly there just easily and quickly. I love it and it's nice and secure too. And so you'll see that things like the cobweb where it might be hard to get glue and all of those teeny tiny areas, that's where I love to use this stuff. Already excited about adhering lots of snowflakes this fall and winter with these dies. And then here you can see we have like these tiny little flowers that line up on a little flower box for our build a house. I love using this for that because it's just nice, quick, and easy, and it's like a cute little tulip sticker. Next up, we're gonna show you some incredible cards from the design team that feature the hearts and stars skinny tag. So here you can see this card by Elise. I just adore it. She used the hearts and stars skinny tag. She cut off the little opening, the circular opening, and she used a bunch of sentiments from different sets, heat embossed on colors. I mean, how pretty is this? I can't wait to make a card just like it. And the little hearts are perfect around the shorter sentiments. Here, Kara cut them from a bunch of different pattern papers to create this really cool accent on her card that I just adore. This card by Melissa is so sweet because she die cut the stars and the hearts from the tags and I love that look. Here you can see that Yanea used the hearts to decorate her card. They're just the perfect little accent on this adorable shaker card. And then here you can see that Mindy used the heart as the dot on the eye. I thought that was such a sweet idea and would be fun for a lot of different sentiments. Here Elise sprinkled some hearts around her really cool custom sentiment and it just fills in her scene perfectly. And you can see this on this card too where it's just the perfect little accent around her hugging critters. Audrey has used one of those tiny hearts as the perfect accent for her cute little sentiment in her thought bubble. And here's Shari, she is the queen of sprinkling hearts and stars. I love how she does it and it looks so cute on this rainbow plaid she created. And then Yanea used the little tag as the perfect sentiment banner on her scoot and buy card. How sweet is that? I just love that rickrack edge and that stitching. I can't wait to see what you guys create with the hearts and stars skinny tag and all the cool things you're going to adhere with the adhesive. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!